Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. hello. Hey, good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello, can hello. you hear me? Hey, good evening. Se escucha, me escuchan. Sí. Yes, very well. Okay, welcome. We have Luz, Catherine, Joaquín, Sandra Marisol. We have Veronica. Who else we have? Juan Antonio. Welcome to the class, guys. One more class. We have Sandra Marisol. Everything okay? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Juan Antonio. Welcome to one more class. How do you feel today? ¿Cómo se siente este día? How do you feel today? I'm fine. You're fine? Excellent. Yes. That's very good. With energy to continue. One more class. Yeah, right? Okay. Let's remember that yesterday we were studying about the present progressive. And we were saying that they are actions that you are doing at this moment. And we saw about the yes, no questions. Now, let's watch the video that we have pending. Let's watch this one. Let's see that is loading right now. Está cargando ahorita. Let's wait for a moment. Hi, everyone. In this... Let me check the volume. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no. Can you hear it? Se escucha. Sí. Yes, very well. Okay, no problem with that. Questions okay. in the Let's present listen. continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is. Is she wearing boots? And of course question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, and the verb eat, and in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So, what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So, let's take the, 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 the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, you're going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. 
and of course add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now we watch the video there. Now let's see here, we have some practice. So let's answer to these questions. Let's see, is it raining now? Did we observe this picture from here where the woman is? Tell me, is it raining now? Need to answer an affirmative or the negative form? Juan Antonio? Affirmative. Affirmative. Very good. Give me a complete answer, please. It is raining now. Uh huh. And the answer? Yes. 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 It's raining. Very yes. good. It's raining. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's raining. You can say like a complete manner like this. It's say it's raining. Or also you can give like a very short answer. So the short answer would be, yes, it is. Yes, so we have two manners yeah. to answer. That it depends, right, on the person. If you say affirmative and you want to give a complete answer, then you need to include the verb. Yes, it's framing. Or, a very short answer, you say, yes, it is. So that's the form here. Now let's check the next one. Let's see, Luz Garcia. We have a picture from Canada here. And it says, is it snowing in Canada? No. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Renee. Thank you. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Excellent. That is correct. We have a short answer. That's very nice. Yes, it is. That's good. What about the next one? Let's see. Catherine Rebecca, let's answer this question. Now we have, is she wearing jeans? Teacher, fíjate que yo ahorita como no estoy en casa, este poco le estoy escuchando a lo que está diciendo. Um, okay, okay, not a problem. Thank you. Bien. Loida. Loida, can you give us the answer, please? Are you present? Hello, Loida, are you there? Kevin? Kevin, are you present? Hello, Marvin. Yo. Kevin, can you hear? Hello. All right. How will be the answer? Is she yes, wearing she is. jeans? Look at her. Look at her. Look. Yes, she is. Are they jeans? Let me ah, see. I'm going no. to make the picture no, no, no. bigger so you can appreciate better. No, Let she isn't. Check. Ah, that's very good. Look. No, she isn't, right? Yes. She's wearing... No, she... uh -huh. She's wearing a suit, no? Uh, a suit. Well, a suit. maybe, because right now we can just see, like, her pants. Uh -huh. So you can say she's wearing formal pants. So no jeans, right? Formal. Aha, uh -huh. that's good, yes. Or trousers, right? Remember, we can also say trousers. So the answer here will be, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She... Excellent, that's good. And now, if we confirm the correct answer, then we can say, is wearing, what else? Complete? She's wearing? She's wearing... Uh -huh. So they are not jeans, right? Formal pants. 
Excellent. That's correct. She's wearing formal pants. That's right. Excellent. That's good. Let's see, Marvin. Are you present, Marvin? Marvin? Veronica? Present. Hello. Welcome, Veronica. Hello. Hello, hello. Thank you. How can you answer this question? It says, are the people wearing coats? And we're talking about the people in Canada. Um, yes, are the they are. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes. Yes, they are. Excellent. They are. They are. Uh -huh. they are. <laughs> yes. In this case, when you give a positive answer, and this one is short, it needs to be complete. No contraction. When it's contraction and it's short answer, that is correct. In the case of this one, no, she isn't. But it's negative. But if it's affirmative, it needs to be complete. When it's affirmative, y es corta la respuesta, por regla gramatical, debe de ir completa. Yeah, Ahora, okay. si es negativa y es corta, entonces sí, debe de ir eh, de forma corta. So she isn't. Eh, or, or a contraction. Una contracción. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to repeat it. Let's see, Jessica Rivas. Let's start repeating. Is it raining now? Jessica Rivas, are you present? Solo iba a estar de oyente. Ah, yes, ahorita estoy viendo el mensaje. Okay, okay, thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. Good. Renu. Let's repeat, please. Is it raining now? Is it raining now? Very good. Now the answer, yes, it's raining. Yes, it's raining. That's good. Or, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. Loida, continue, please. Is it snowing in Canada? Loida, are you there? No. Jessica Esmeralda. Hola, teacher. Hello, hello, Loida. Welcome. Present. All right, very good. Nice to see you again. All right. Let's repeat it now then. Loida, let's repeat it. Is it this no is it Canada? Is it is is it snowing? Is it is snowing? It snowing in Canada? Very good answer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very good job. Nice one. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Let's continue here. Is she wearing jeans? It's <laughs> Juan Antonio, is she wearing jeans? No, no, you say. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Good, okay. She's wearing formal pants. She's wearing formal pants. That's all right. Thank you. Excellent. Luz Garcia, let's continue. Are the people wearing coats? Are the people wearing coats? Very good. Answer. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Excellent job. That's good. Okay, let's continue practicing. Let's go ahead with this part. Teacher, buenas noches. Hey, good evening. Me vuelve a preguntar, por favor. Ah, oh, yes. This one. Uh, in this picture, this one. Is she wearing jeans? Is she wearing jeans? Wearing. Is she wearing jeans? Is she wearing jeans? Very good. Give me the answer. Is affirmative or negative? Uh, negative. 
It's negative, right? Because they're formal pants. Yes, that's correct. So give me the answer, please. Yes. Jessica? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. That's correct. Good one. Okay, now let's go ahead on the next. Let's continue practicing here. Now, we're going to ask questions with these different verbs that we have here. Remember, all of these ones are action verbs. So these verbs represent activities. They represent an action that you can perform, you can do. Let's ask, for example, are you running in the park? How will the answer be? Let's see, Catherine Rebecca. Give us an answer, please. Catherine, Rebecca, are you there? No, Sandra Marisol? Are you present, Sandra? Hello, Jensi? Jensi, hello? Uh, hello. Hello, Jensi. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Mm. All right. Give us an answer, please. Are you running in the park? You can give a few of them. Running in the park. Good. Okay. Give me an answer, please. Affirmative or negative? Negative. Okay. Tell me. No. What is the subject that you need? ¿Qué sujeto necesitamos en la respuesta? Hello. Hello. I am. Here? Okay, no. Is I this am. like am? Not, right? If it's negative. Yes. Cuando la respuesta es negativa, cuando mencionábamos y esta es corta, entonces es necesario que utilicemos una contracción. Entonces, no, I'm not. So that is the negative, right? Now, let's formulate other questions. For you, let me see, is Naomi. And let's put here right now. Are you smiling right now? Joaquin, can you answer please? Joaquin, are you there? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello Joaquin, welcome. Okay. All right. Give us an answer, please. Podría repetir. Yes, yeah, sure. Are you smiling right now? Perdón. Remember what is a smile? What is a smile? Sonriente. Ah, okay. Sonriendo. Sonriendo. A smiling, sonriendo. Sí. Sonriendo. Ajá, correct. So you have the action. You have the action in the part. Smile. Look at the picture here. Pueden ver bien acá la imagen. Yes, she is. is smile. Ajá. In the case of third person, right? En el caso de que sea acerca de alguien. Pero si la pregunta es directa, supongamos que le preguntan a usted. Are you smiling right now? Say yes or no. So what is the answer? Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Okay, very good. Give me the answer, please. Yes. Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. Yes, I am. That's very good job. Nice. All right, let's continue with Carlos Arturo. Carlos Arturo, are you present? Yes. Yes. All right. Let me see. Another question. If I ask you, for example, let me see. Let me show you the, the picture here. What about walk? And we formulate about another person. Let's ask, is 
your friend running in the park? Is your friend running in the park? Affirmative or negative? Um, no, he isn't. Ah, excellent job. That is correct. No, he isn't. You're giving that negative structure. No, he isn't. So you use a contraction because it's short and that's very good. Nice one. Okay, Carlos, now I need you to formulate a question to Veronica. Formulate the question and use one of your verbs. Vamos a ir utilizando, vamos a elegir un verbo de los que están acá en la imagen y formulamos la pregunta. Así como estas de acá. Um, yes. Are you, um, are you drinking water right now? Excellent. Veronica, answer. Veronica? Um. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good job. Veronica, you formulate the question to Juan Antonio. Select another verb. Elija otro verbo que aparece acá. O otro que usted conozca. Are you studying right now? Excellent. Are you studying right now? Yes. I am. Yes, I am. Excellent. Juan, you are going to ask the question to Sandra Marisol. Juan Antonio, to Sandra Marisol. Uh, Sandra Marisol, are you eat the dinner? Are you are you eating? Remember, you include the I eating 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 the dinner. Excellent. Are you eating the dinner? Good question. Nice. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's good. Okay. Now let's see. Catherine and Rebecca, you formulate the question to you. Let's see. Marvin. To Marvin. Hola. Hello, Catherine. Me parece que eres como es. Ah, yes, formulate the question. Así como formulamos las preguntas acá, usted va a elegir un verbo de lo de la imagen y formula la pregunta. Y va a preguntar a Marvin. Are you? Ah, puede ser directa o puede ser acerca de alguien más. Is your sister, is your mother, is your father. Pero elegí un verbo. Bueno. Choose a verb. Marvin, is you listening to music? Are you listening to music? Yes. yes. Okay, good one. Are you listening to music? Marvin, are you present? Okay, then Miguel Antonio, let's answer it, please. Are you listening to music? No, I am. No? I'm not. No, yeah. no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Exactly. Excellent. Contraction because it's negative. It's negative and it's short. Es negativa y es la respuesta corta. No, I'm not. Very good job. Nice one. Thank you. No, I'm not. That's really good. Thank you. Loida, you formulate the questions to René. Hello. Hello, hello. Loida, are you present? Loida is not present. Okay, Rene, formulate the questions to, let me check who is present here, to Jancy, to Jancy Ramos. Yo tengo que preguntarle algo a ella. Ajá, correct. You select a verb. Seleccione un verbo y formula la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Es que, no, es que no lo veo los verbos. Acción verb. Let me check. Vamos a hacer más grande la imagen. Ahí está. Like this. Sí. Eh, let me verify. Here I need to put it to the top. Yes, like this. Can you see it better? ¿Se ve mejor? Yes. It's a walk, run, laugh, crawl, cry. 
sit down, think, smile, do, sing. Do exercises. Aha. Do exercise. This one? Exercise. Ah, that's good. So it's the ing form will be doing. The verb sería do. Do. Y, e incluimos el ing porque para expresar que se está realizando la acción en el momento. Es doing mm -hmm. exercise. Haciendo ejercicio. All right, formulate the question. No, no le entiendo, pero ¿cómo sería? Para formular la pregunta, si fuera una ah. yes no question en la que investigamos si es afirmativa o negativa la información, llevaría la escritura así. Si fuera directa, are you running are in the park? Este ING me indica que la acción se realiza en el momento. Estás corriendo uh -huh. en el parque, right? Y requerimos de una... Eh, respuesta ya sea negativa o una afirmativa. Entonces se puede hacer con muchos de los verbos que tienen así. Are, 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 are you Are you studying? Study? Are you studying? Study, uh -huh. yes, I am. Uh -huh. Are you studying? Yes. Yes, I am. I am. Very good job. That's nice. Good one. Okay. Jancy, now formulate the question to Oscar. Are you studying? Jancy Ramos. Formulate the question for Oscar. Are you? Uh -huh. Paul. Are you? Dance. Ah, dancing. ING, ING. Good. Are you dancing? Are you no, dancing? I am not. No, I'm not. Very good job. Excellent, guys. No, I'm That's not. good. Yeah. Really good job. That's good. Okay. Let's continue in our next part. Let's go ahead. Well, remember that here you have the exercise, right? With the knowledge check in the platform. Now it appears the image here, and you have Beth, you have me, you have Anita, you have John, and you have Bruce. And you have the example here. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Is affirmative or negative? Negative. Is it negative? Yeah. Affirmative. Yeah. It's affirmative, right? Si se fijaron algunos que ya pudieron eh, trabajar en la plataforma en esta parte, eso parece como light blue jacket, aunque la imagen no se puede apreciar en sí, si el color es oscuro o es claro. ¿Quiénes ya la realizaron, el ejercicio? Yo, yo la puse que no, porque Ajá. este... Primero, primero le puse que sí, luego me puso la máquina que no, que no estaba bien. Ajá, ¿no? se lo corrigió, ¿verdad? Sí, porque es oscuro el color del hombre, de, de, de la bata del hombre. Ajá, yes. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the jacket that you had, that one is like dark. Sí, igual dark. lo de la muchacha que está de último me Ajá. salió mal porque ahí pedí, pedía si era este color. Eh, púrpura eh, eh, la chaqueta tanto como como este el pantalón y uh -huh. yo puse que sí que sí era púrpura pero me, me salió malo en, entonces puede ser que solo es púrpura el pantalón porque entonces la chaqueta es lilac es lila yeah that's true uh -huh. sí porque como well. no se aprecia muy bien verdad sí, sí, sí. El, el color si es oscuro claro entonces ahí tiene que probar uno de las dos formas now what about Nick is Nick wearing sunglasses? Are they sunglasses? No. No, no. right? No. Uh -huh. So what's the answer? He's, he's not. Yes, he's, is he is not. If he's negative, then you say no, he isn't. Negative. Ajá, uh -huh. in the case that is negative. So uh, you need to. He, he, no, he like isn't. To... No, he isn't. No, he isn't. That's correct. That's good. Exactly. No, he isn't. Okay. That will be the form. Now let's go ahead here. 
Let me show you the next one. Okay, that was about the present progressive form. Do you have questions with present progressive? ¿Alguna pregunta con presente progressive? Recordemos que ese es para expresar acciones que se están realizando en el momento. Any question? No. No? Okay, let's take some minutes and we are going to pass the attendance list. So let me know if you are present. Alicia Maribel? No. Angelica? Angelique? No, she's not present. Angelica? No. Brenda Marcela? Brenda Marcela? No present. No present. Hello. Let's see, Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you, Jessica Sarai. Jessica Sarai. Joaquín Jesús. Joaquín Jesús. Pre present, present. All right, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Carlos Arturo, you said present, right? Yes. Yes, thank you very much, thank you. Juan Antonio? Present. Thank you so much. Catherine Rebecca? Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando, me dijo que solo iba a estar escuchando, but he's present. Loida Citali? Loida? Luis Antonio? Luis Antonio? Is no present? Luz Margel? Present. Thank you. Maria Ines? Maria Ines? Marvin? Marvin Manuel? Marvin Manuel? Miguel Antonio? Miguel Antonio? Oscar Esaú? Oscar Esaú? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Reina Isabel? Reina Isabel, René Alfonso, present teacher. Thank you, Sandra Marisol, present. Thank you very much, Verónica Maricela, present. Thank you so much, Yancy Janilet, present. present. Thank you, Yancy Alexandra. Jensi. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Yes, she told me she's present. present. Yes, thank you. And Jessica Rivas. Yes, she told me she's present. Thank you very much, guys. All right, let's continue here. Now, let's go ahead with our <laughs> section five. <coughs> Okay, you see now we're going to continue with our last section, the final section, that's section one. And the name is, what are you doing? So here we are going to learn a little bit about the different cities in international time zones. And we're going to practice conversation between two people in different time zones. So we'll continue with the WH questions in the present progressive to investigate the specific information. 
but also about the different hours or the different time in different places or countries. And we have here an example. It says, what are you doing? I'm playing football and listening to music. What is the correct option? I'm listening to music. Excellent. Very good job. That's great. Nice. Okay. Let's continue. Look at that we have a clock here. And the manners how we can give the time. Imagínate cómo se puede dar la hora. Así como en español, hay varias formas de dar la hora en inglés. Let's look at here. Okay? We have the normal numbers, right? We have 12, we have 1. We know that. One represents five minutes. Number two represents 10 minutes. Three is 15 minutes or a quarter. Or un cuarto, right? Quarter. A quarter past. Sabemos que los de la derecha representan los minutos que han pasado después de cierta hora. So we have five past, 10 past, quarter past, or 15 minutes past. 20 past or 20 minutes past or 20 minutes past, right? 20 past, 25 past, half past, like media hora, right? Or 30 minutes past, hora. Then in this case, from 7 to 11, we have 25 to 25 to, right? 25 to, then we have 22. Quarter two, ten two, five two, and we have a clock. So that will be the manners how we give. So when we use the number and two, utilizamos el número más la preposición two, indica que faltan tantos minutos para que llegue la siguiente. So let's check here. We have some other references here telling the time. Here we have a clock, the same reference. It's five past. Then we have it's 10 past. It's a quarter past or it's quarter past. It's 20 past. It's 25 past. It's half past. Now we have it's 20, 25 to, it's 22. It's a quarter to, it's 10 to, it's 5 to, or it's o'clock. So now, tell me what time is it in this clock? As we know that we have like this small, the small needle here, and the big needle is in this part. So what time is it? What do you think? Okay. What time do you think it is in this clock? Uh, it's uh, when it's uh, midnight. Is it midnight in the clock? In this clock? Yeah. Look, so, we have the small needle. Yeah. The clock okay. is and. Está llegando casi a las mm -hmm. dos. Y la aguja grande está casi mm -hmm. llegando como cinco para. Para las dos, right? Pero de hecho son como siete minutos uh -huh. para las dos. So that will be, uh -huh. it's seven, two. It's seven, Ajá, seven, two. excellent. It's seven, two. ¿Para qué hora? Two. Two, two. Two, two. two? Exactly. Uh -huh. It's seven, two, two. Ya, yeah. si faltan minutos para la siguiente hora, entonces utilizamos el número la cantidad de minutos y utilizamos la preposición tú, ya que se desplaza a la siguiente hora. O so podemos decir, o podemos decir one, it's one, it's one, it's one, fifty, fifty three. It's fifty three, exactly. So you have different manners to express it. Now, let's have other options here. If in the case that it's two, you say it's two o'clock because it's exactly right that time. It's two o'clock. Now, if you have five minutes past, you can say it's five past two. 
5 pasadas las 3. Or another option. You can also say this manner. You can say this option. It's 205. Las 2 es 5. 205. Recuerden que les mencionaba que el, el 0 generalmente se puede pronunciar también como la letra O, aunque gramáticamente no sea tan correcto, pero se utiliza en una conversación. This is 205. Now, it's 10 past 2. 10 past 2. It's quarter past 2. You see, we have 15 minutes, but after 2. It's 20 past 2. 20 past 2. So you have here, 20 past 2. It's 25 past 2. It's half past 2. It's 25 to 3. It's 20 to 3. It's quarter to 3. Sí, porque se le pone el pack, perdón, después de la pregunta. Hola. Paz quiere decir pasado, pasado de tal hora. Se le cortó el audio a la teacher, pero... Eh, eh, solo repíteme, amigo, eh, ¿cuán, ¿qué otra forma fue que, me, que usted dijo que podía uno elegir cuando, cuando se refiere ahorita a la hora que faltan este, cinco para las dos? Eh, pero dijo usted otra, que había otra forma también para decirlo. Ah, cuando uno dice, it, it's one, fifty three, son las una y trece. Esa es otra manera. Son las 1 y 53, perdón. Sí, sí, sí. It's 53. 53. Exactly. It's 53. Ajá. Hasta ahí. No, hasta ahí. Hasta ahí, así como lo dije yo. Sí. Son las 53. Ah, ok. La 1 con 53 minutos. Sí, exactly. Ah, entonces se diría este. Hello, hello. hello. It, it's one hola, hola. fifty-three. Are you here now? Exactly. It's one fifty-three. Sí, sí. Ah, okay. Yes. Gracias. Hola. Se, se Gracias. escucha ahora. You're welcome. Yes. Can you hear now? Se escucha bien ahora. Sí, yes, se escucha. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's why is they're using the past, right? Siempre que que vean acá past. Es porque son minutos que ya pasaron cierta hora. Y si utilizamos acá tú, es porque faltan esos minutos para llegar a la siguiente hora. So, for example, right now. Tell me right now, what time is it exactly right now? Hello? La hora que tenemos nosotros. Ajá, the time that you have right now. Tell me. It's eight. Ajá. Uh, eight, 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 Paz y tú, que dice que supuestamente es paz, es faltan para. No, no cuando utilizamos. Para que llegue esos minutos. No. Cuando, no, cuando utilizamos paz. Ajá, cuando utilizamos ya pasó. paz es porque son Ajá. ciertos minutos pasadas, cierta hora. Por ejemplo, acá que tenemos 2.20. Puede ver bien acá Ajá. el puntito rojo. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok, que aparece 2.20, sí. ¿verdad? Podemos expresarlo así: sí. es 20 es 2. Porque son 20 minutos pasadas las dos. Mm, yes. Ya. Ajá. Y otra, ¿no? sí, ya, ya. Ahora sí. Ajá. Sí, esa no la entendía mucho muy bien. Ajá, porque son pasadas. Pero también se puede utilizar, como son las 2 y 20, también puede decir. Supongamos que la aguja, la pequeña, está acá, en el 2. En este caso, aquí en ese reloj me parece así. 
son las dos, y esta aguja grande estuviera en el cuatro, pues nos indica veinte, ¿verdad? Tendría que ser. It's two twenty. Ahí ya no sería past, porque estoy utilizando otra forma. Son las dos y veinte. No lo estoy expresando como... Estoy confirmando. Ajá. ajá, no lo estoy expresando como... Está confirmando como... que va la hora. Exacto, ajá. Estoy ese pasada para decir, hay tantos minutos que ya pasaron de tal hora. Y uh -huh. el tú me indica cuánto falta para la siguiente hora. Que pues generalmente van después de la, de, del 30, ¿verdad? Porque sería acá, desde acá. Ajá. Y si 25, ah, faltan 25 para, para las dos, por ejemplo. Faltan 20 para las dos. It's 25 to 3, por ejemplo. It's 20 to 4. It's 9 to 5. Or it's 15 to 5. Or it's a quarter, que me indica un cuarto de hora. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, let's it's check A quarter it. to nine. A quarter to nine. Ajá. Uh -huh. Instead of saying it's 15. Se me congeló la imagen. Pero me escuchan bien. Sí. Sí? Ok. Perfecto. Sí, sí. Now, yes? Ok. So, let's check here. Aquí hay otra regla importante. Y, por ejemplo, ahí, ahí donde dice va. Uh -huh. Yes? Eh, la, la primera de, de la segunda línea, donde dice 2 y 30, dice X alf o half, no, no, half past past. ¿Qué significa esa palabra? Half. Ese, ese half significa media half hora. Ajá. Media hora. Ajá, correcto. Uh -huh. Media es como, hora. Media es hora. Como ah, quarter pasado. es el ah, cuarto. Yeah. Eh, half es media. Es media hora pasada, las dos. 30 minutos pasada. Es como para sustituir el 30 minutos. Sustituir 30 minutos. También se podría decir, it's 30 minutes or it's 30. Ah, para decir 30, mi amor. Ah, 30, 30. En el caso de 30, 30. Uh -huh. okay. We have another reference here. It says, we 30. use at plus time. 30. When given the time of a specific event, utilizamos generalmente at, right? Ya, yeah, tal es hora, yo voy a ir a tal parte, like. Um, I study at 8 p.m. Estudio a las 8, right? At. So, when you have a question, for example, here, you investigate the hour. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? It is half past four. What time or what's the time? That's another form. That's another form that you use. Now, if you say it's half past four, or it's, it's 20 to five. 20 to five. It's 20 to five. So let's check here more examples with the video. We're going to play it here in the platform. Hi, everyone. Can you hear it? ¿Se escucha bien? Sin problema. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is, is, is she wearing boots? 
and of course question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now let's go ahead. We watched the video already. Can you hear? ¿Se escucha? ¿Me escuchan? Yes. 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 Okay, good one. Let's continue then here. Okay, so we have this one. Got the hour here. We got the form of present progressive as we have it. So you had the present progressive form, right? So let's see here. We're going to watch another one that was to, to remember it. Let me see that is loading. Está cargando ahorita. Okay. The previous one was to remember. La anterior era para recordar alguna estructura. Veamos acá el de what time is it there. So that's to a specific place that we have. Let me see that is loading. Okay. Now it says what time is it there? Hi, everyone. No problem? Hello? No problem? No. no? We okay. need to discuss, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? 
It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm no. really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? All right, let's continue. So you could observe, right, like the conversation that it had. Now let's go ahead. And we are going to practice the conversation. We're going to start. Let's see. Veronica, can you start, please? You are Debbie. And we are here. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh. Good. Continue, please. June, continue with John. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Uh -huh. I am calling from Australia. 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 Very good. Luz Garcia, continue, please. Australia. Good one. I'm at conference in Sydney. Remember? Uh -huh. Remember. Thank you. That's correct. Good one. Let's continue. Oscar. All right. Oh, all right. What time is it in here? Is it there? What time is it there? Good one. Thanks. Juan Antonio. What time is it there? Very good. Thank you. Juan Antonio, continue, please. It's. It's. No alcanza a ver. 10. Let me make it bigger. Vamos a hacer más grande acá. It's 10. It's 10, 10 p.m. P.m. Ajá. Uh -huh. And it's. And it's. 5 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Ajá. Four o'clock there. There, there, in Los, An Angeles. Los, An Los Angeles. Los Angeles, right? There in Los Angeles, right? Very good job. That's nice. Okay, let's see. Jensi, continue here. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Mm. Yes. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. Yes, that's true. Yeah, Marvin. Four o'clock in the morning. That's oh. good. Marvin, continue, please. Four a.m. Marvin, are you present? Carlos Four Arturo. Four a.m. Carlos Arturo, are you present? Yes. Yes. Um... Okay. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh. oh, I'm really sorry. That's right. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Loida. Loida, are you present? Sí, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Let's repeat it, please. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm awake now. I'm awake now. Yes, that's good. Imagine very early. So in Australia, it's a different time. So that's why they have different time zones. All right. We are going to continue with this tomorrow, okay? Do you have any question? Eh, yes, sí, teacher. Yo, yes, yo recuerdo yes. que creo que no me mencionó en la lista de asistencia. Oh, yes. Remind me, please. Repeat your name to make sure. Para asegurarme. Oscar, right? Sí, Oscar Mesa. Yes. Ok, thank you. Yo creo que sí lo anoté porque sí lo, lo había visto. Sí, acá lo tengo. Yes, I have. I check. Sí. Okay. Okay, yes, I have. Yes. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Then we continue tomorrow, ok? Thank you. Yeah.
Have a beautiful good night. night. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Thanks. Good night. Thank you so much. Happy sweet dreams. Happy dreams. Thank you very much. Bye. Goodbye. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you Goodbye. tomorrow. Goodbye. See you Goodbye. tomorrow. See you. Good night.